Hey guys, my name is Sean. Welcome to my channel if you are new. I've been getting a lot of questions lately about SGU. Um, this time of the year, a lot of people are looking towards SGU as an option for medical school and others have been accepted and they have a few questions before heading out and uh, some concerns. One of the questions I've been getting a lot recently is how was my time there or what was it really like? Um, and I think the best way to answer that was the fact that when I was there, I never once woke up regretting my decision. I never once felt like, oh my God, I shouldn't be here. I regret ever coming here, anything like that. And I think that was uh, really eye-opening for me because that was one of my biggest concerns was like, what if I fail out? What if I don't like it? What if I don't even like medicine in the first place? And all of that just left my brain and all those worries and concerns, just that, you know, that cycle, that snowball effect of anxiety that, you know, comes with making a big decision like this, it all disappeared within my first week, even my first couple of days of being in, uh, you know, starting out my first term. Um, so that was a, a, a really big eye opening thing for me. And I think that might be a little bit more relatable um, if that is a concern that you have. So yeah, I never once woke up and felt like, damn, I regret being here. Um, of course, there are times that are going to be tough and times where you feel overworked, times where you feel overstressed and uh, overwhelmed. And yeah, that will suck in any situation. And I think that will happen in any situation that, you know, in any pursuit of higher education, right? So yeah, but I never once felt like the school was a mistake for me personally. Um, another thing was a lot of people have concerns about, um, you know, how do they know they would make it through in the first place? That was my biggest concern, hence why, you know, made this channel to try and help people out as much as possible to give them an idea of what it's like. I think that, first of all, um, the whole idea of failing out and stuff like that, I think that, that that's a very valid concern and that was my biggest concern and I think SU is even implementing uh, changes now in their protocol of how forgiving they are about, you know, uh, repeating a term and I think now you could even repeat it more than twice now, but fact check me. Um, but yeah, that's some new, new things they're implementing where they're a little bit more forgiving for how many times you repeat a term. Um, yeah, so that might help ease some of your concerns or anxiety. I think a few things would help you out. Uh, like a few characteristics would help you out. Oh my God, I can't speak. I think a few characteristics would really help you out and uh, really get you far uh, throughout your medical school career. And that's if you could kind of make the best out of every situation or you're generally positive. I think that would really help you out. Uh, towards the end of my terms there, I was hearing a lot of, as soon as I get off this island, my life would be so much better. And I always felt like, not really, because if, if, uh, if you think all your problems are stemming from being on an island and being in school, then your problems are probably a lot more deeper rooted than that. So uh, I always believe that, you know, you could be miserable anywhere and uh, uh, being on an island is not really gonna, you know, worsen your problems or anything like that. In fact, it was even better for me. There were, uh, no distractions, there were, you know, no obligations that I had to get to outside of school. You are literally surrounded by a bunch of students who are doing the same exact thing, who are in the same exact boat as you, no pun intended. And yeah, there are no distractions. And honestly, it just kind of motivates you more. And there are stuff that you could do, uh, like going to the beach and stuff like that. But yeah, no, there were no distractions. And I think that really helped me out too. It's like you wake up, do your work, and just try your best to get past this test and get past this term. And so, yeah, that was probably a good thing. Mm -hmm. On top of that, um, yeah, like the actual island life, it was fine. Uh, you get used to the food and there are some really good vendors out there and honestly some really good people out there. Uh, and so that wasn't really a problem. The mosquitoes sucked and that's that the mosquitoes suck. There's no way around that. Get yourself that bug zapper thing. That really saved my life. 
if, if you can be away from your family for extended periods of time, I think that would also help you out. Uh, because like me, I, I was always, you know, I was always okay with being on my own. And I think that helped me out or just kind of, you know, made the time go by faster. And honestly, no matter how much you do miss your family, you still uh, make family when you're here. And honestly, uh, throughout your terms, you may not notice it in your first term or your second term, but sooner than later, you will start to realize just how amazing some of the people really are there. And they will become your family and they will have your back and will, they're like pillars. They will like keep you standing and will always have your back when things get tough and will keep you going. And that was very uh, instrumental uh, for me getting through my five terms there. So yeah, you will make your own family. Um, so um, even if you miss your family, you at least have, you know, a new kind of family that you could make and be close to. Um, another question I get is, oh, uh, does um, SGU do a good job in preparing you for uh, your step exam? And I'm in the middle of my step uh, prep, dedicated study time stuff. And you might hear this question, this might be a redundant answer, but no school really can prepare you for a step, uh, as sad to say. But I think SU would does just a good enough job as any other school would. Um, but it honestly, your preparation for step and how you do, it all falls down on the individual student, right? You are, it all comes down to you. It all comes down to how proficient and efficient or efficient you are for the, uh, uh, you know, during your dedicated studying time. And it all comes down to, there is a reason why they call it UFAP, right? It's you rolled first aid, pathoma, and sketchy. Sketchy will save your life. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so uh, I think SGU does a, a, a fine job in, in preparing you for step, but it really just all comes down to you as a student and, uh, and during your dedicated studying time. So, yeah. And I will be making a video about my dedicated studying time, and so hopefully that will be entertaining. And, uh, and especially about things I would have done differently uh, starting out and like regrets that I have now that I wish I would have implemented, you know, back then, um, to make this, uh, studying period go a little bit easier. So yeah, watch out for that. And yeah. Um, oh yeah. Uh, just a little side note, just right now, I want to tell you just the best that if you are starting out, uh, with any med school or any, you know, uh, no matter where you are, the best thing you could do, just do yourself a favor and have the step book open, especially if you have the iPad, you just split screen it and just have it open and study along with what you are learning or whatever lecture slides you are focusing on. Of course, always focus on the, the lecture slides first because that's what the teachers are going to test you on. But having that first aid book open and to the side, whether you have the physical copy or the actual, you know, e-copy the PDF, um, just have that open to the side. You don't have to like read it like crazy or know it like the back of your hand, but just knowing where things are and just being a little bit more familiar with the step book is really going to help you out when it comes time for your dedicated studying. I did not open the step book once, maybe uh, during my whole four terms there, five-ish terms, and I regret that because when I opened up my step book now uh, during my dedicated studying time, uh, it was like reading another language. So don't do that. Um, just even having the book open and just being on the same page of what you're learning is going to help you out a lot in the future. Um, so yeah, learn from my mistakes. Um, yeah, uh, let's see. So yeah, I will make a more cohesive and uh, uh, a, you know a lot more like I will make another video for that though so yes either way I think I would just like to end really quickly I got to go back to studying now but I wanted to tell you that and I wish somebody told me this too I think actually my best friend in the world and my cousin Grant he um, he he told me that you know no matter what you do or what you decide, it will always be the right decision for you, right? 
um, because I swear I was going down a rabbit hole. I was just, it was a bad time like leading up to this uh, um, uh, going to SGU, right? So don't worry yourself too much. Uh, I know it's a huge decision, but no matter what you choose at the end of the day, uh, just just put your foot down, go with it, and put your foot down and go with it, and and just don't look back, right? Don't have any regrets and all that stuff. So no matter if you choose SU or if you don't even choose medical school as a career option, that's fine, man, because it's it's honestly it's the right choice for you, and no regrets, right? So yeah, I think that would help some of you people out who are if you're anything like me and. The anxiety is probably building right now and you know just take your time it is a very important decision to make um, and I will do my best to answer all your questions and uh, either make sure that it's not for you or it is for you um, so yeah all in all to wrap it up I have no regrets uh, with going to SGU and going to this medical school uh, I will let you know how my time or how my like rotations and my residency stuff progresses from here on out, of course, so you could get a better idea. But yeah, as of right now, I'm all good and I'm just trying my best for this step exam. So wish me luck, but yeah, keep the questions coming. And like I said, no matter what you decide, it's the right decision for you. All right, I'm sat, yeah, okay. All right, bye guys. Jeez.